Hello everyone. It's been a while, so I thought I'd give you all an update. Yes, the guppies are in the aquaponics tanks, and there have been some changes. Uh, uh, new lighting. I know the blue light was cool, but I couldn't see the fish. And these are so beautiful, who would not want to see these gorgeous fish? Isn't he gorgeous? He's going to make beautiful beautiful little ones and one of the mamas is about ready to pop see the beautiful my beautiful orange tailed girls those are my rescues yes I was given those and they have a beautiful home now and I just love them to death and there's big mama yeah she's she's just about ready to to pop we hope babies are coming very 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 soon I've been watching for them diligently and you see the yarn mop that's for baby rescue. I am not going to, I'm going to try not to use that two and a half gallon anymore. There are still some fry with uh, some little ones. I'll show you uh, juveniles, I guess you'd call them by now. Um, but I didn't want to go with a green mop. I wanted something bright because I used gravel that I had and that was natural color. And the, the plants are you know, since this is hooked to aquaponics, I didn't need live plants in here, so I just threw in all of the plastic plants I had for cover. And I really just want the, them to have a beautiful, thriving colony, so I thought, I'm going to give you a beautiful, bright, cut, some beautiful, bright color and some shaded area, which they seem to like. Since I got the brighter light, they got a little shy around it, but now they're coming out, and I can enjoy them. I sit here in my chair, and I just so much enjoy them. Okay, speaking of the plants and the aquaponics system. Uh, we're not having great success. Now, I've have I've got some seeds. You can see the jalapeno is starting to sprout. Look at my limpy lettuce. Okay. Pepper seems okay. Parsley, eh, it's very leggy. I and these are thriving they're growing I'm seeing new sprouts but what I'm not seeing on these is uh, I'm seeing leggy growth again so the old light got replaced with that and that's a, gr a grow light full spectrum so hopefully that'll solve the issue um, microgreens one of them sprouted and I ate it and no big deal but um, I'm upset that the zucchini haven't sprouted yet so I think I'm going to retry them, re replant the one anything that hasn't sprouted. I don't know. I've got to look up and see how long it takes some of this stuff. Um, that system is working really well. Um, there's gunk in the filter, so I know it's doing its job in cleaning. I've got to do some water tests, but these guys are doing just, they seem to be doing just great. Uh, yeah, I, I miss having little decorations up there, but it's better for the plants, so um, we'll decorate it up soon these guys we moved three of the juveniles that were bigger they were three months old so it was time and you can see them right there they've all come out to say hi they think I'm gonna feed them and there's my little male and he's even starting to get his sword can you see it <laughs> and the girls are doing fine too it did not take long the de the tetras were not bullies they they chased after them for like a minute, and then they were fine. And nobody's been bothering them. They've all been getting along great. I did pull another baby out. Did I tell you that? Yeah, I had the I had the guppies in here. The three the three mating guppies were in a breeding net for the longest time until that tank was cycled. I did not want to put them in an uncycled tank. And oh, by the way, putting them in here under the natural, under the the better light in this tank, look, their color has just popped, especially his. Yeah, he's so much more colorful than he was in the other tank. Anyway, the um, I was looking at the breeding net one day, and there's there's Willow again. Say hi, Willow. Oh, hi, baby. Then there was a, I, I suddenly saw a baby. Oh, what the heck is that? And right by the breeding net. So I scooped him out and stuck him in here. Now, we have one, there are three guppies and three sword tails. 
The two orange ones are both sword tails. And I tell you what, that baby that I rescued, that is the biggest newborn I've ever seen. He was the only one I got. And he is, he's been active and crazy. He, I'm saying he, I don't know for sure yet. But probably the biggest newborn fry I've ever seen in my life. And he had to be newborn because I watch the tank every day. We got one big sword tail that is kind of sickly looking. That's, I think that's him right there. And he just, she's just not, she's just not developing well. And the other three that are sort of clear at this point, I'm starting to see little bits of color on the tail. I believe they are gu female guppies. They're looking good. Well, that one's got some color, just the beginnings of color on the tail. And then the two orange ones are um, are swords, and they're younger. Um, the bigger one is from the rescue, and <laughs> the the big baby up there at the top, the big the orange one at the top, that's my newborn. You believe that crap? So all I can figure is she gave one of one of the females just gave birth to one <laughs> instead of thirty. I don't know, but it's a big baby. And I feel sorry for the mom if she gave birth to one that big. Anyway, everybody's doing good. Jimmy, Jimmy's having a good day. Jimmy is now trained to use the net. <laughs> yeah, when I clean his clean his bowl, I uh, I usually clean this one first and uh, empty out uh, about a quarter of it and put in fresh water and then take the rest of the fresh water in the bucket and I take out Jimmy's plants and his plant is he's got the best philodendron growing um I know it's pothos but I call it I've always called it philodendron anyway I take out his plastic plant and his philodendron and uh then I put him in the bucket and he's always happy to go in the bucket he jumps practically jumps in the net and then when it's time to put things back he knows he's going to have a nice clean bowl and he jumps back for me and eventually, I don't. I want to stop using this for fry. I'm going to let the fry just. I'll use this maybe as a hospital tank, but I'd, I want to put Jimmy in this. I think it's more stable, even though you know it's two and a half gallons. It'll be fine for him. But having multiple multiple fish in this, I've had too many issues. The first time, as you recall, I had. Uh, I put a weekend feeder in, and the ammonia spiked. And I lost a lot of baby fry. The second time, and I had a ton of fish in there. It's just way too many for this tiny tank. But I didn't have any choices if I wanted to try to save them. The second time, I went, uh, went camping again. And I didn't put a feeder in. I figured they'll be fine. For, took everybody's advice. They'll be fine for a couple of days. Well, I come home, and they've all got ick. And so... I, I treated them. Everybody's good. They're all, they're all recovered from it. But it's like the everything is so unstable in this tiny tank, and I know that's common knowledge. So I think this is Jimmy's going to go back to living in this, or I'll just retain it as a hospital tank. Maybe a selected one or two fry can live in it. But I'm never going to have a ton of fish again. I'm just going to go to colony raising and oh, look, see. See color on her tail? You see the color on her tail? She's getting her color more and more every day. Come on, baby girl. You go join the harem with your sisters. <laughs> and though the the guppies in here were my freebies, they were you know they were my rescues, because somebody had given these beautiful girls as feeder fish, and the way her sisters look with their fire on their tails, I can't believe somebody would just give them away. But people do it all the time. Okay, I'm rambling. One last thing I want to show you to give everybody a good update is my temperature afghan. I haven't talked about that in forever. And I've been trying to catch up. Look at all the colors. I've been trying to catch up with it. And you can see it started in the winter, colder, colder, started to get warmer, and then rain, 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 rain. Lots of rain. That's all we've had is rain. In fact, we've had so much rain that I have run out of the yarn that I use for rain. So we've had four days in a row now there have been, there's been rain. And I don't, I have to go get another skein before I can even put it on. So it'll even be more of this stuff. But that's a lot of rain in the springtime. 
Okay, well, that's it for my update, folks. I'm hoping this turns around and I get some, some more lettuce. I need advice from you aquaponics people. Um, this, these pretty much stay wet all the time. Um, and uh, I'm wondering, do I need more of this, uh, more of the clay balls, the hydrogen? Do I need more of those so that there's a layer that's kind of dry at the top? Because right now it's sitting in its static state and they just stay completely soaked all the time. You can see I've got some roots right here. If it'll focus, I'll back up a little bit. See that? On my mint, there's some of the roots that are becoming like air roots. And I'm just trying to leave that stuff alone because that's giving me the good root system that's helping with filtration for the fish. That's going to come out and go outside. But I've got to have some other plants going in here. And I may just go buy something that's already established and throw it in here for uh, the seeds working. I'm very happy about this Kari's Little Green Pepper. Hi, Kari. Hope you watch this. And the jalapeno's coming up, so maybe there'll be salsa in my future. I don't know. Okay, thanks, everyone. God bless.